bow line. So you have, you get a couple meters out at the start. Um, so as Chris was showing you before, this stretch you can go into the vertical position. So you actually need to make sure you have enough of a dag for the patient so that that doesn't take weight when it's moved into the vertical. And then also you need a long tail if you have an outrider as well. So you get a couple meters out. And then the way I think of this, um, the way you tie it this way is so you don't need to keep threading through those three bits of gear. You only thread it through once at the end. Um, so I've got my upstream back up and then my downstream. So I go from my downstream to my upstream to make a loop. And then from upstream, I push that through. And then so I've got that and I just put my wrist through it. And then I take these long ends and feed them through the three bits of gear. I want to work it so that the knot is quite small. And then with those ends, I feed them back through where my wrist is. And then this last little bit is you just want to make sure, so that's that loop that I had my wrist through. We just push that through so that the knot kind of folds in on itself. And so that actually forms the top. And you cinch it all up and then you want to pull this one down. So there's either tails you want to pull that down and then the rest of it is just stressing the knot. So it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, and I know there was some talk at some other units about uh, how easy this is to tie.